first test run of this suspended inversion. <laughs> yeah, perfect. yeah, send it back. Go. So, my friend Johnny came by the other day, and together we got to be a little bit like the legends who built roller coasters for Arrow. One of the first things that we do is we come up with an artist's conception of the ride. Then many times we find that to check the ride dynamics, we make a scale model such as this. Pete, can you let it drop now? I'd like to think that they would be proud of us, and that, just maybe, we were able to discover some things that would have made their dream of a suspended corkscrew a reality. We decided to stretch our corkscrew out a bit more, almost like a zero-g roll, to soften the forces on theoretical riders. As you can see, the cars need to swing outward first. Then, the curvature at the top of the inversion has to use centripetal force to keep the cars pointed upwards while they're inverted. That way, they don't fall prematurely to the left or right. Our final prototype design works well, as evidenced by these videos, but the design could still be perfected. When exiting the corkscrew, the cars swing back to a horizontal position much faster. Therefore, the second half of the corkscrew should either twist faster, or be shaped to more closely resemble a dive loop. But, even with this current prototype, the tests have been successful enough to confidently implement this corkscrew into a larger model. Thank you.